guys so today I have another empties video for you um I've used up a whole lot of stuff and I'm pretty sure this is gonna be my last empties before this baby girl comes which is crazy um because it takes me at least a month to use up like enough to do a video and then all of a sudden it's like uh I really need to do one but um yeah I'm now 37 weeks so officially legal for this little girl to come so I'll let the waiting game begin. <laughs> um, I'm definitely feeling ready for it. Um, tired, achy, crampy, all that wonderful stuff. <laughs> um, yeah, so, but I was feeling pretty de decent this afternoon, so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna film that empties because I need to. And it's also a beautiful day, so it's not like sweltering in here like it was the other day. So, without further ado, let's dive right in to this pile of stuff. If you're new to empties videos, this is basically where I share my thoughts. Basically a mini review of things I've used up. So you know if they're worth buying. So there you go. Um, these two are not completely gone, but I just want to share them so that once they are, I can just toss them because I need to. Um, the first is the Hemp's uh, Pure Herbal Extracts Creamy Papaya and Shea Body Moisturizer. I've had this one for a while. Um, for a little while, the scent kind of got to me even though it's a nice scent. Um, so right now, I don't think I'd repurchase it right away. And lately I've been liking just like really thick body butters um, that are a little bit more moisturizing. But this does smell good, um, it's a great everyday kind of moisturizer, but I've been slathering myself with body butter like morning and night um, to help my soft hand from getting patchy. So yeah, I like something really thick, but that's pretty good. And then the Burt's Bees um, Baby Nourishing Lotion in the calming scent, so this is lavender and it's nice real smelling lavender, not like fake, um, 99% natural, doesn't have like parabens or mineral oil or other junk in it. And I did, I did use this for me obviously, but I did buy another one mainly to use on baby. So yeah, this is a really good lotion and it's also actually pretty thick and nice and moisturizing. So yeah. Obviously, I would repurchase that. Um, my husband used up the Old Spice Fiji Body Wash. Um, I actually have used this when I ran out of body wash, <laughs> like I've mentioned before. Um, so, yeah, smells good. And if you need to use it, it doesn't smell overly manly. So, yeah, there's that. And I just bought him a new two pack of it since he ran out. And then the Up and Up Whitening Pre-Brush Mouth Rinse. I've mentioned this before too, so I won't go on and on. I just use it before I brush my teeth at night for a little bit of a boost. Um, honestly, my teeth look way better on camera than they do in real life. Like the lights and everything are very forgiving. So I do, I should use this twice a day, but I only use it once a day usually. Um, I do drink coffee every morning, so that doesn't help. So. Um, yeah, but this just uh, gives a little bit of a boost to help counteract the effects of daily coffee drinking. So, yeah. And then, of course, I used up a Not Your Mother's Cheese of Teas Volumizing Hairspray. I've talked about this before, of course. Love it. Y'all know I buy it and practically drink it. So, yeah. And then I also mentioned this. Oh, some water in there. Um, the Caress Daily Silk White Peach and Silky Orange Blossom Silkening Body Wash. Um, I am now on the third from that three pack I mentioned I had gotten from Sam's Club. And I probably would repurchase this. I still like it. I'm not tired of the scent because it's nice without being overwhelming. And I still really like it. So yeah. Ooh, not the too leak. Okay, let's see. Then I usually toss these without 
and forget to mention them, but I always use um, cotton rounds. These are the Ulta premium round cotton pads. I use them for toner and to take off my eye makeup at night. So I use like, well, at least three a day. So I always have these on hand. Um, really any brand. A lot of times I've bought the Up and Up from Target. But these I bought like four sleeves at a time when Ulta was um, buy two get two free. So plus a coupon. It worked out to be really cheap. Ow, my elbow just popped. And I used this up a little while ago and finally put it in here, but um, this is the Sexy Hair Smooth Sexy Hair Sulfate Free Smoothing Shampoo. Um, this one, I don't know. I liked it, but I don't think I was wowed by it, so I don't know if I'd repurchase it. It might work better now that my hair is shorter, but... I don't know. I did like that it's like smoothing, it's free of gluten, parabens, and sulfates, obviously. I don't know. It was okay. And then the cheap magnified volume shampoo. Uh, I've talked about this before as well. I am using another bottle right now that I had gotten before when they were on sale. And I do want to get more during the next liter sale. I do really like this. And I would obviously repurchase it again, like I just said. Um, it is sulfate and paraben free. And I really like how well this line like just detangles and just kind of makes my hair feel good. So, yeah. I would repurchase that. And then we have, let's see, the Rite Aid Renewal Oil-Free Makeup Remover. I talked about this before. Obviously use it to take off my eye makeup um, at night. Gets off all that waterproof stuff. And I like it. Um, I do need to go pick up more. Um, this last time I was like totally out and I had to get the regular Neutrogena brand. And thankfully it was on sale, but the bottle's smaller. Like, I like how the Red Aid brand comes with a bigger bottle. And they usually have, a, like, a really good sale. Like, I want to get one half off, I want to get one free, or something like that. So, yeah. Um, then I use up the Equate um, Moisturizing Lotion. Compared to Cetaphil Moisturizing Lotion, this was just, like, kind of my extra, like, neck moisturizer um because i like to use something like a little bit cheaper so i'm not like using my oh i like to use i like to use something just a little bit cheaper like for my neck and stuff um but i don't think i would rebuy this because really the ingredients are not that great obviously um i did like that i didn't have parabens but um yeah and I probably should start using something more like anti-aging as far as that goes. 30's coming. And it's coming fast. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, it worked. Good cheap moisturizer. Um, then I have the Tresemme Thermal Creations Heat Tamer Leave-In Spray. I do still use this and do still like it. So obviously I would repurchase it. So yeah. Then we have the Tresemme Platinum Strength um, 48 Hour Style Protection Fortified Hold Hairspray. And I did like this too. I would repurchase it. Um, but only on sale because it's not the cheapest. Like it's a little bit more than their other hairsprays. Obviously it's Tresemme so it's not super pricey. <laughs> but um, yeah, I did like this. So yeah. Again, that's the Platinum Strength. Tresemme hairspray. And then we have another Not Your Mother She's the Cheese volumizing hairspray. Of course. I do hairspray like crazy. And then we have the bot. Ooh, and it has a hair stuck to it. That's lovely. Ooh, there's another one. Okay. <laughs> we have the Body Shop um, Japanese Cherry Blossom Body Butter. 
And I did really like this. It's just a really nice scent without being too much. Um, it was really nice and moisturizing. Um, I felt like I went through it too fast because I would like slather it on. Um, like I said, morning and night. And I'm almost gone. I'm almost done with my other body shop body butter too. But I definitely would repurchase this scent. I do really like it. Um, the only thing about the body shop, I wish they would take out the parabens. Like, why? You're supposed to be more natural. Come on. I don't know. But, yeah. I did like that though. Whew. We have a lot of stuff. Then the Clear Care um, contact solution. I like to use this type, like I mentioned before, because it just really cleans contacts really well. And I feel like I can get longer use out of my two week lenses. Like I probably wear them for like a month. I don't know. All I know is I'm still on a year supply of contacts that I got over a year ago. So yeah, I only have a few left, so I have to go to the eye doctor soon. But yes, I do really like this kind of contact solution. Then we have the Hemp's Original Herbal Body Butter. Um, I had this for a while, and again, it was one of those, I don't know, the scent, oh, I just noticed it does have a couple parabens in it too. But the scent just kind of got to me after a while, and I couldn't really handle it. This is something I had to give it a break um, for a while especially earlier in my pregnancy. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just really wasn't that fond of the scent after a while, so I do not think I would repurchase that one. Um, then I use up the Cupcake Fresh Face Mask. Um, my friend Amber went to, obviously there's nothing in this, I cleaned it up, but yeah. My friend Amber had picked that up for me and I loved it. Um, yeah, I talked about this before. Absolutely love the cupcake mask. Smells like chocolate cupcakes on your face. It's just heavenly and it's really great for oily, acne prone skin. So, yeah, I'm gonna make sure I keep that so I can try to eventually get five clean tubs to get a free mask. And then, this is not empty, but I'm tossing it because I've had this forever, and it's the Woods Number no. 7 Shine Free Primer. I really wanted to love this, but when you put it on your face, it's just like grainy super glue. And just really thick, and every time I use it, even if I try to put it on like damp skin so it smooths out better, um, it would just like kind of cake in places because it was just so thick and I would end up seeing like weird blotchy patches and um, like after putting it on too I had to wash my hands because it would leave like a thick film on my fingers and that would interfere with putting on any other makeup and it was just not my favorite. So obviously that's why I have most of it left still after like, I don't know, like three years <laughs> at least. So yeah, that's going bye bye. Then we have another Tresemme Thermal Creations Heat Tamer Spray. Obviously I like that. Oh, and something, if you like this as well and you're going to repurchase it, just once you get down to that teeny tiny bit, just after you use a little bit of your new bottle, just pour that last bit into the new bottle. That's what I do every time. Because once you get down to that last little bit, it's like near impossible to spray it out. So that's what I do every time. Just a little tip <coughs> for ya. Then I have the Color Brilliance Intensive Shine Demi Permanent Cream Color in medium ash blonde. That is what I use to dye my, or color my hair. Um, yeah. Obviously I like it because I keep using it. Um, 
I just use a demi permanent because it's less damaging and my hair doesn't like to really keep the color anyway. Then before I colored my hair this last time, I used the Beyond the Zone Shock Therapy Extreme Clean Clarifying Treatment. You can get these little packets at Sally's for about $2, maybe a little more. Um, but it's just a really intensive clarifying treatment and it gets rid of all the gunk and buildup and stuff. Um, so I liked it. Um, I don't know what's in this, probably a little scary, but it's just a powder that you pour into your hand in the shower, add a little water, and then rub it throughout your hair and leave it on for a few minutes, and then rinse it out, and go on with your conditioner and whatnot. So yeah, my hair did feel super, super clean for like days after I used this, so yeah, it works really well, so if you need something like that, yeah, I would get those at Sally's. And then I have the Soap and Glory Hand Food in Original Pink. This is my favorite of the hand foods. They have a few other scents now, but the original is my absolute favorite of life. It just smells so good. So, love that stuff. And Soap and Glory is was just, I mentioned this before I think, but Soap and Glory is being brought out of Sephora and it is going to be sold like, I think, where is it sold? Some drugstore. Is it Walgreens? And like drugstore.com and stuff I think. But they're going to be like a little bit cheaper which is nice. Then I have a very beat up used beauty blender because I finally had gotten more. So this little guy going bye bye So I love my beauty blenders. Always got to have one. Um, and then this little sample of the Buxom Amplified Lash Mascara. I don't think I really loved this. Like, I don't think I even used it much. I don't know. It just needs to go because obviously I don't even know what I thought about it. And then I used up this Nivea Kiss of Milk and Honey Soothing Lip Care Lip Balm. I do always repurchase this and it's what I keep by my bed to put on right before I go to sleep or whenever I need some lip balm for my dry lips. So yeah, I always repurchase that. And then I have these Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer Light, a little mini size. I've had this way too long, so I'm just tossing it, even though there's like a tiny bit left. But yeah, it's a pretty good primer, but haven't used it in a while to really have it kind of fresh in my mind of my thoughts. Better. But it, you know, it's a popular primer. Um, and then I have the NYX Colored Mascara in purple. This was fun just to add like a little pop of color that was like very slight. I would use it like over regular black mascara, but this is expired. I hadn't used it in a while and it was the kind of thing I didn't use all the time. So I really, if I would use it more, I would repurchase it, but I probably won't just because I won't use it enough. So yeah, I did like it, but I feel like using like this more than it'd be more worth buying, obviously. But it was fun. Um, and then I have a NYX Butter Gloss in Meringue. This is just really old. Um, I need to get rid of it. And there's just like a little bit left. But um, yeah, I love the NYX Butter Glosses, but this um, color I didn't use like as much as my lighter ones like Eclair like I have on right now um so yeah but that's really old so I need to go and then the Makeup Forever Smoky Extravagant Mascara this was a sample um it has this really weird wand um I wasn't wowed by this I don't think I really liked it I don't think I used it much it just needs to go so yeah. Um, then the Jane Water Resistant Eyeliner. I did love this and I had repurchased it at least once or twice, 
but now I'm using a one that's even cheaper. Um, so yeah, I did like that. And that's then brown. And then the Lancome Hypnos Drama um, mascara sample. This one I did like out of all those mascara samples. This is the one I did like the most. Um, as you can see, I wore off the label from opening it quite a bit. <laughs> um, so yeah, that one I did like, but I would not spend $30 on mascara because that's just something I can't do right now. So yeah. And then I used up the Nivea Lip Butter and Raspberry Rose Kiss. I did like this. Um, I kept it in my purse for a while because I put some on like before I put on lip gloss or mas mascara. <laughs> yeah, um, before I put on lip gloss or lipstick or something. I always like to have a balm in there. Um, but this did last me a long time, which is good, but then with like a pot kind of thing that, I don't know, kind of grosses me out, sticking my fingers in there all the time. But now I have another pot style one in my purse anyway. I don't know. But um, yeah, I did like this. It's a good lip balm. What I purchased? I don't know. Maybe. And then... Whew, we're about done. I used up, sadly, my Cover FX Pressed Mineral Foundation in N25. This was my summer color. It is totally gone. I used up every little speck. Um, I'm now using the Everyday Minerals base because they're matte base because it's um, cheaper. But I am liking that. So anyway, but I did really like this. Um, I would repurchase it, but I only didn't because of the price. So yeah. Um, then we have the Dr. Bronner's All-in-One Hemp Lavender Pure Castile Bar Soap. Um, I did just open a new one. That's what I use to wash my beauty blenders. So, yeah. I always repurchase that. And then, um, not makeup related, but we all like candles and stuff. I used up the Scentsy Clean Breeze Scentsy Bar. And I love this one. It's actually really strong. Um, so you might want to use like a half of a bar, half of a little square, um, if you don't want it as strong, but it just smells like straight up like clean laundry and stuff. And I always like to have this one on hand, especially in the spring. I just love that just like super clean scent. So, um, yeah, I love the Scentsy Clean Breeze and... Like I said, obviously I would repurchase it because I love it. Um, and that's it. As if that was only a little bit of stuff. <laughs> that's really going to be a little bit long. But you don't mind, right? Um, anyways, yeah. So like I said, this is probably going to be my last empties until after baby is here. So yeah. Anyways, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and share with your friends. Help get the word out. And you giving it a thumbs up also helps other my chin. Helps other people find my channel as well. So I would appreciate it. So yeah.